Morning folks. If you've been following our page and listening to me ramble on for God knows how long it's been, you'll know that I'm always harping on about permanent and how when we put it on, it's not coming off. And for the most part, that's true. However, there are some cases where we can get it off. This is a very little known trick, um, very deep inside trade secret. But I'm going to show you how it works where we can actually get some engraving off. Keep watching. So this is the laser we're going to use to get our engraving off. And if we go down here, we've got this big box here. And inside that box is the laser source. That's where the laser beam is generated. And then if we scooch around the back, you'll see that big black cable there. That's fiber optic cable. So once the beam has been generated inside the machine, it travels up that, travels along here, still inside the fibre optic, runs into this head where we've got a load of mirrors, Galvo mirrors, very fast moving. That's the lens, comes out of that lens, fires down onto the bed, onto a piece of material, and that's how we get our engraving. But what we can do is we can reverse it believe it or not. So the beam will go up through this backwards, disappear down there backwards, down the back of that cable, into the box of the laser source where it gets all scrubbed away. I'll show you how it works. Now before I do this and show you how this works, I do have to explain that as part of health and safety, this is quite a dangerous thing to do because we're going to be reversing laser beams. So PPE is a must. Um, if you've ever seen Ghostbusters, you'll know that crossing beams is just not a thing that you do, unleashes all sorts of shit. So yeah, safety first, make sure you've got your goggles on and your hard hat and hearing protection. Um, I might wear a mask um, and I might take my pants off. But we'll see how it goes. It's not normally too bad. We, sh we should be all right. But don't try this at home. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna engrave our piece of brass. Now, if you look at this, you can see it's not really shiny. It's a bit tarnished and blurry. So there's no fear of the beam going backwards on this one. So we're quite safe to engrave that. So let's hit the super button there we go so it can be removed and that's the intention we're going to remove it so what we've got to do now is we've got to reverse the beam and we do that by putting something extremely shiny over the top, look at that. As you can see, it's very shiny. You can see the lens in there, which is the little sort of green bit in the middle. And inside that as well, we've got the mirrors. So then what we do is if we fire the laser, oh, that was quick, has that done it? I think it has done it. Yep, right, so that's done. So then we fire the laser again and it will remove the text. So there we go, text removed or engraving removed. That's now totally back to the way it was before, totally unmarked, all down to reversing the laser beam. So like I say, it is quite dangerous, we don't, we very rarely do it because of the dangers involved, we don't want to unleash any like, hellhounds or anything like that, um, but occasionally if you've got an expensive piece of equipment that you've marked incorrectly, we have to do that just to get us out of, out of a muddle. Thanks for watching folks. Uh, if you've got any questions about removing engraving, um, 
have a look on the internet because obviously everything you see and read on the internet is true. Um, and there'll be some information out there somewhere. Um, but yeah, if you want any engraving putting on, which is what we're a lot better at, give us a call. Have a nice day.